So, 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 and grow, 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 guys. So today, I decided, let me try something else. Let me experiment with something else. You know me, I'm always experimenting. Um, no matter if it's going to grow or not. And I'll show you if it's going to grow or not. So, um, this is what I'm going to experiment with. This eggplant here, I just repotted it. Because I over... Well, I forgot it anyway outside. So, that's what I'm going to say. Um, so, as I was repotting, I noticed this long, beautiful, healthy root. Right? Look at those beautiful babies on the side there. So I decided, let me just plant this in some dirt. And I want to see if we're going to be able to grow from the root. All right, guys? So if you want to follow me along with growing this root, um, it's a Japanese eggplant, one of the long, beautiful, dark eggplants. So, yeah, we're going to be growing that. All right, guys, so this is actually beautiful, still healthy, and we're going to try to grow it from the root and see what it does. If it does nothing, you already know I'm going to come back and tell you guys it did nothing. If it does anything, you know I'm going to show you guys what it did. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so what I'm going to do is i got a little cup here, and I'm going to put some dirt. As you guys can see, and I'm just going to stick it into the dirt let me make sure the dirt is even all right guys so it's even and I'm just gonna stick it in the dirt all right and what I'm gonna do is just put it push it all the way in the dirt and I'll be right back to show you guys what I did all right guys so we're back so I just pushed it down in the dirt and then we're just gonna cover up all the way because it's a root all right guys so you want to make sure it's covered up and I'm just going to push down to make sure she's tight. All right. Because it's going to grow like a plant. So you want to make sure those roots are all the way down in there. And we're just going to experiment with this. All right, guys? We're going to experiment with this here. All right. So we're experimenting. All right, guys. Now we're back. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do, like I said, I filled it up. As you guys see, it's just the root in there. Nothing else, no seeds or anything like that. All right, guys? I do have holes in the bottom. I can't tip it over, but I have holes in the bottom of that and holes in the bottom of this. And it just says the name of the eggplant. And it says planted from, I'm sorry, the name of the eggplant's up there at the top. As you guys can see. Then I wrote here on a little note says planted from one root. As you guys can see, and the date that I put it, all right? And today is actually the 7th, not the 6th, so I'll change that, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do is just cover this cup with this plastic baggie. I'm going to put the black baggie inside, the cup inside here, all right? So I'll show you that in a moment. All right, guys, so this is all I do. I just put it inside here, and I'm going to take it out to the greenhouse. And there we go. We're going to do our experiment. You know, I love to do a, a great experiment. So this would be the first one of 2021. All right, guys. The first experiment it is, let me, I'm going to change the date, but it says planted from one root. All right, guys. Planted from one root. You guys seen it here first. You see the root in there. And then we're definitely going to test it out and see if anything grows. All right. Good or bad, you guys are going to see the end result. All right, don't forget, let's grow together so we can eat together. All right, guys, so I'm upstairs in my home office, and I have three new babies I'm excited for. So I have two new Maya lemons. I told you guys I was really bad over the winter, only because of schooling and everything, um, and I really didn't pay attention. So I really can't blame it on school. I have to blame it on myself. So, yeah, I was a bad gardener this winter, but I got two new Maya plants here. So you can see one has lemons on them. Maya plants does not take long to grow. And not they don't take long to produce fruit either, but um, this is the first year, so I'm going to be pruning those these uh 
lemons off of here. I will be pruning them off. I will not be keeping them. As you guys can see, here's my pruners. And back here, this poor thing, it was in a pot with one of these. I forget which one. And it was like, you know, that fruit cocktail type of thing. Cocktail, they call it a cocktail. Um, this is a key line back here. So I'm going to trim maybe this part off here. And then start off with the rest of those. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But we're going to see how I'm going to do that one. But today we're just focusing on these Maya lemon plants. They are gorgeous. Um, we got them from one of our local nurseries here. I was I was really excited to see that they they had them early. Early, very healthy. As you guys can see, very healthy. Um, so there he is. I'm just keeping him up in the uh, room right now, in the sun. As you guys can see, I'm so sorry about the sun shining, but my babies will need the sun. <laughs> um, so yeah, had them for a couple days now. So far, it seems like they're good. I don't have any curls, no leaf drops, um, nothing dropped. Only, well, of course, this because you know I was moving it and broke that off. But yeah, so far they look absolutely beautiful. The lemons, definitely not going to be keeping them, because my main focus this year on when I first get my plants, my main focus is if they haven't, you know, I'm sorry, if they haven't grown enough and established enough for a couple of years. So my main focus when I first get a plant is the growth, okay? It's new growth on a plant. So that is my main focus on when I get new plants is the growth. I don't, I'm not worrying about the fruit right now. Um, so you can see here we got a lot of new growth. And for all you new beginners that don't know the difference between new growth and the old growth that you have, um, sometimes you can't really see by the color. It's dark when we say dark to light. Mm. If you touch the leaves, sometimes you can feel how soft and tender they are. Those are your newer growths. Nice and soft and tender. And then at the bottom here, these are your older growths. The darker, harder ones, okay? So that's the difference about that. So we definitely will be trimming or pruning. I'm sorry, pruning the lemons off of here. Because I want to focus on the growth this year. So we even have some down here. As you can see, so you're just going to at least if I can get the camera in there, okay? Just gonna prune it there, just like that, right? Um, I'm gonna leave the flowers on, of course, let them bud out. But the lemons itself, I want to where you focus on the uh, tree growth itself, not the lemons. So I'm just cutting them on an angle, boom, like so, okay? Just cutting them off. This is not going to give you the best taste of lemon, you know what I mean? So definitely going to be cutting those off. Um, there's a big one there. So we're just going to be cutting it off. I'm worrying about the growth this year. So you, you guys know me. I love to prune my trees. I want to get the best growth, the best health out of my trees before I start really getting fruits on my trees. Oh, look at there. That's some new growth there. And the rest of these look like and feel like they're the old uh, leaves. But that's new growth right there. That's definitely new growth there. Look how pretty that is. These are gorgeous. My boyfriend picked these out. He, he really knows how to pick out a plant. So he brings them home. I uh, prune them down. I do what I have to do with them. Absolutely gorgeous. This one I'm not going to touch. I just, only thing I wanted to do was this, was take the lemons off, and I did that, so. And then back here, like I said, this my key line here. Um, I'm just not sure. I think I'm going to take the middle one out. This one out, going this way. Okay, and then I'm going to keep the rest of them. You got to watch out because they do have thorns on them. I'm going to keep the rest of them, though. Yeah, and maybe cut down here at the bottom. Cut that off also at the bottom. And then I'll start from here this way. Um, but before I prune this one, I definitely want to look more into how a key lime should be shaped. 
um, so I'm not chopping her down too much, um, because that's what I do. I will look to see how they should be shaped and listen to why they should be shaped a certain way and things like that before I do that. So that's what I'm going to do before I prune this key line down, all right? And those are my babies. <laughs>